Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. Now this video is to show you how to set up throttle scaling. Now, the way I've set this up is with a safe throttle, which any electric model you should set up a safe throttle uh, in case you accidentally um, arm the motor and your throttles forward. Uh, but you could use this for um, a gas engine if you wanted to. You could set, up, set it up in a similar way. But anyway, let's switch over to the computer and I will show you how to do this. Right, so I've got my model open. Now, there's nothing, I've not set up global variables for this. I've actually inputted the, the, the figures that I want. So the inputs are going to be standard, the mixes. Now, as you can see here, we've got a lot going on with the throttle. But first, I want to go look at the logical switches because there's quite a bit of work we have to do there. So let's switch to the logical switches. We're going to set these up with the safe throttle, but as you can see, we need uh, far more logical switches to make this work. Now, if we go to logical switch one, A is smaller than X, where A is the throttle, and then we put a value of 98 in there. Then logical switch two, or, this is to do with the arming of the safe throttle. So it's logical switch two is or, logical switch one, and logical switch two, and then the switch SF in the forward position. We also need to set up a delay of 0.5 of a second. Now we get onto the next three lines, which are to do with the throttle scaling. Now we're setting up 100%, 75% and 50%. So if we go to logical switch three, we've got or, logical switch one in V1, then logical switch two, switch SE in the forward position. And then we carry on this down to logical switch four, where it's or, the function is or, logical switch one, logical switch two, switch SE in the middle position, and then logical switch five, which is or, and then the function is or, logical switch one, logical switch two, and switch SE in the back position. Now let's go back to our mixes. Okay, hang on, hang on a sec, let's go to the curves. We would need to set up a curve. So you can see the curve that I've set up here, I've called it cut. I've just changed it to two points. Now you can see we can drag this down. So we just need to drag the points down to the bottom. So that's your um, curve that you need to would need to set up. So let's go back to mixes. Okay, so with your standard throttle line, you're gonna to have to edit your first line which is going to be source uh, input throttle. The weight is going to be 100%, offset zero, the curve zero. Then we're going to select logical switch three. And that's it for that line. Then you're going to add to the next three lines. So we're going to go to the second line. And you can see here, I've set up the source is input throttle. The weight is 75%. The offset is minus 25%. Now that adds up to 100, you'll note there. Obviously a minus is a plus, but total is 100. If you take the 25 away from the 75, that gives you 50%. The curve is zero. The logical switch is going to be number four, and that's it. Next line is going to be the source, is our input throttle. This time, you can see we've got weight 50, offset minus 50, and then we've got a curve of uh, zero, and logical switch five, and that's it. And our final line, we are going to have the source is input throttle, our weight 100%, our offset zero, our curve, we need to put a curve in here, which will be the curve, uh, curve one, which is the cut one. Then we've got switch, but not logical switch two, with the exclamation mark. And that is everything we've gone through. Now, we, we need to have a look at the special functions because what I did, I set up all the different sounds. So I'm just going to go through them for you. I put switch SF in the forward position, play track armed. Switch FF in the back position, play track disarmed. And then the last three are to do with the throttle scaling. So S, SE forward is going to be 100%. SE in the middle is 75% and SE back is 50%. Now let's demonstrate this. Let's just take a look. Okay, let's click on here, get the channels to come up. So we should have 100% throttle. If we're armed, we are armed. So we've got 100% throttle, as you can see on channel three. So, throttle scale 75%. so now we're on 75%. You can see we're going to go up to 75%, bring it down again. 
So we go the full throw, you'll see we're only getting 50% of our throttle. But at any point, if we disarm, the um, aeroplane's engine would disarm. So if I arm, and it won't, it will not arm until I go back down again, and now we should have 75% throttle. Now let's take a look at the settings on our radio for throttle scaling. All right, so let's have a look at our model settings. So first thing we're going to go to, I'm going to do them in order, is we're going to go to the mixes. So we go to the first line, and you see our source is input throttle, weight 100%, offset 0, our curve is 0, and we need to select logical switch 3. And that is it. Now we go into our second line, this is the 75% line. Our source is input throttle, weight 75%, offset 25%, minus 25%, and we need to select logical switch 4. Go to our next line and edit. Our input is our source is input throttle, our weight 50%, our offset minus 50%. Our diff is zero, and we need to select logical switch five. Okay, our next line. The source is throttle input, a weight 100%, offset zero. And then we have our curve has to be the custom curve, which is the one we set up, which is cut. We'll get to that in a minute. And then our logical switch is not logical switch two. And we should be good there. Right, let's go through. We go to our curve. There's our curve. Let's edit the curve. You can see our curve here is, is um, already set up. So it's two points and you just drag the points down to the bottom. Then we're going to go to logical switches. Now you can see all the logical switches here. So the first one is A is smaller than X, where it's our throttle stick is V1 and V2 is minus 98. Let's just edit this. You can see that there. It's best to edit. Then we're going to edit our next line. You can see our next line is a function is OR, logical switch 1, logical switch 2, switch SF in the forward position and a delay of 0.5. And we go down to our next line, and you can see our logical switch 3 is our function, it's all. V1 is logical switch 1, V2 is logical switch 2, switch SE in the forward position. Now this is where we're getting our uh, variable throttle rates. So we go to the next one, and logical, logical switch 4 is for the function is all. V1 is logical switch 1, V2 is logical switch 2, and then our switch is SE in the middle position. And logical switch 5 is function OR. Uh, V1 is logical switch 1, V2 is logical switch 2, and our switch is switch SE in the back position. And we should be good there. So let's come back out, tap, go to our channel monitors, and we can check this out. So let's see, we are armed. And we are going to activate. So now we should have 75%. You can see there. We should only have 50% now. And if we disarm, well, our motors disarm, doesn't matter what throttle scale we're in. Well, I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I would love to hear from you. And if there's anything I can help you with OpenTX or HTX, please let, let me know in the comment section and I'll see what I can do for you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.